Hello and welcome to my channel for Wayne Watts' Truth and to like and subscribe and to comment down below as usual. Now this video is all about the things that used to bother me in my life and yes this does tie in with my lifelong struggle with loneliness and isolation and being a lifelong loner and having had practically no friends all of my life and the things that used to bother me but don't bother me anymore, right? Um, as a Christian, I used to be bothered about people that disagreed with my worldview and, and didn't agree with my beliefs and even mocked me. Now that doesn't bother me at all because I realise we're living on a big planet. People from all walks of life, people have all different worldviews, people are all different stages of life. So some people who mock Christianity and mock the Bible, for example, may at some point in the future end up becoming Christians themselves. Sometimes those who God saves are those who are calling themselves the atheists, the agnostics, those who want nothing to do with uh, religion, with the Bible, with Jesus. They just think it's a load of nonsense or it just isn't for them. It doesn't make sense to them anyway. Uh, that's one thing that used to bother me when I was much, much younger. I used to get embroiled in internet debates with all different kinds of people. And like I've said in other videos, arguments almost never achieve anything good. They are futile because arguments just tear people down, they get people's backs up, it, it just creates bad blood, does it not? Uh, they're the things that used to bother me. So if someone comes along and says, look, okay, you've had that belief, but I don't have any beliefs, or I'm a Muslim, or I'm an atheist, or whatever, that doesn't bother me in the slightest because... My life belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's got nothing to do with anybody else, my personal beliefs or anything. We should all live and let live. Never force the gospel down anybody's throats and let people believe what they want to believe. If they don't want to have anything to do with the Bible or Jesus or anything, then just let them get on with it. That's it. Um, that's just one of the things that used to bother me, but, but it doesn't anymore. Not at all. Not in the slightest. Um... Also, because of my lifelong struggle with loneliness and having no friends all my life, uh, all the pen friends that I had, for example, uh, when they stopped writing to me for whatever reason, whether it was through boredom or they found out something about me that they didn't like and thought, oh, no, 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 I can't carry on writing to this guy anymore, he's too much. Or whatever reason they had, <laughs> or perhaps they got ill or something, or I don't know, perhaps one or two of them might have lost my address. I think I had, I had no more than five pen pals. For the life of me, I can't remember whether I had four pen pals altogether or five of them altogether, but it was at the very least it was four. And um, yeah, each one that stopped writing to me in the past, it got to me more and more and more because I think, oh, for goodness sake, this is so typical. They're just getting on with their lives. They couldn't care less about me. They got bored of me or whatever, or they just found that I wasn't their cup of tea. You know how it is, unless you're really, really good at writing entertaining, enthralling letters and so on and so forth, then it's very easy to lose the attention of these pen friends and they can and do just quietly stop writing to you. So most people, it wouldn't have bothered me half, it wouldn't have bothered them, sorry, not me, half as much because most other people, I've got other friends, they're in relationships and they think, oh, okay, well, whatever, it's just a pen friend, but that's not how I took it. I took it very personally, but not anymore. I couldn't care less anymore because God has used that to teach me a life lesson. And that it's not people that matter in life. It's God. It's him. And other people matter second, but not in the sense of being possessive, but in what we can do for other people and how we can serve other people. The example we can set for other people. It's not about trying to hold on to people. So I've learned detachment in this life. And it's a hard, tough lesson because you just believe when you're under attack from loneliness, depression, despair, misery, feeling like no one gets you, no one understands you, no one gives a damn. Uh, you know, I, I've struggled with tremendous loneliness, but through that, God has strengthened me and tempered me like a sword in a furnace. Bang, 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 bang. And so he's banged it all out of me, literally all of it. It's like, I, 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 I'm the sort of person that... If someone who was in contact with me, for example, let's say I reached the age of 80 and someone who was in contact with me uh, 40, 50 years ago got in contact with me, I'll just shrug my shoulders and think, oh, to for the books. I, I, I'll be a friend to you, but I, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> but most people aren't like that, you see. Um, most people, if they stop contacting someone, that's it. They just, 
life goes on. That's it. And the longer time, the more weeks, months and years and decades that pass by <laughs> and you still haven't contacted someone and you might think about someone occasionally, think, oh, I remember that person who used to write to me or that person who used to be my girlfriend, that person who used to be my friend at college or whatever. Um, but ultimately life goes on and most people don't dwell on other people because they're too, so focused on what they're doing, their own careers, their own hobbies, their own interests, their own enjoyment in life, they're doing things that they like to do, uh, like they've just got no time for anyone else. That's just how it is. Now, there have been times, in fact, with each and every single pen friend that I had, I used to think to myself, oh, if only they would be checking me out on Facebook or possibly go onto my YouTube channel. The last two pen friends I had, I was thinking, I was thinking, wouldn't it be great if, even if they stopped writing to me, which they did, obviously, but even though they're not writing to me anymore, that they remained curious and interested in me and actually cared about me enough to go onto my Facebook and then from there to go onto my YouTube channel. But that's just not realistic. Hey, it's possible. I think it's more probable than winning the lottery. Let's put it that way. But... Most people, this is the harsh reality, most people just don't care. And I've reached a point where I don't care either, but it's not through cold-heartedness or indifference or through selfishness or just wanting to take the easy way out, like it may have been with them. With me, it's because I'm concentrating on my relationship with God and everything else comes second place. So I've learned complete and utter detachment and it's very hard to learn it. You best believe that I've had my nervous breakdowns. Not too many, a few. I, there's been times when I've broke down crying in the house. Yeah, begging to see God's face. I've, had, I've been through that. But throughout all of it, it's Jesus. It's always Jesus. I couldn't care less anymore. I couldn't care less whether those pen friends got in contact with me today or never got in contact with me again. My ex-girlfriend, I wish her all the best. Okay, I pray for her regularly like I do with everyone else who's ever been in contact with me throughout my life and that's not that many people. Only three people altogether have, ever, have, have had anything to do with me personally and I'm 36 now to give you an idea how few people I've interacted with. So I pray for these people personally, for their well-being, for their salvation, for them to be given humility and wisdom and, and understanding and a spirit of love into their lives and everything, and I've even prayed for their respective families and their friends for the sake of their whole lives. There's only so much I can do, and God knows this. I'm not perfect, they're not perfect. Each and every single one of us is not going to live forever. So I'm not, so I haven't dwelt on these people for quite some time now, I haven't. And I can't believe that I used to let those people bother me. But I've grown so much as a person, and they just don't bother me anymore. They really, really don't. And something else that's about, about all this loneliness that I've struggled with and being alone in my life has taught me, despite how independent I am and how used to my own company that I am and how happy in my own company that I am, because I am. But that hasn't prevented me from feeling lonely and wanting to have one or two good friends and also a girlfriend. Um, is that the mind can play tricks. That's what it's taught me. The mind can play tricks on us. We can sometimes convince ourselves and tell ourselves what we want to hear and we can convince ourselves that something's happening or that somebody's interested in us or someone's going on our Facebook or our YouTube channel whilst really nothing could be further from the truth. So we need to be aware of this because the more time we spend on our own, the more detached from reality that we can become. That's why we need to be grounded in Christ and not just tell ourselves what we want to hear. It's a very easy trap to fall into. So let's not do this, brothers and sisters. Um, what can I say? We're complicated. When we're put in situations where we feel isolated, we've got no friends, we're lonely, uh, it's tempting to get lost in fantasy land, which is why so many people turn to porn, like I have at various points in my life. So I need prayers in that regard because anyone who knows anything about me knows I've struggled with lust. I've got a lifelong struggle with lust and that hasn't finished yet. I'm still battling lust, right? Uh, and just because I don't care about these people anymore, it's not that I don't care about these old pen friends of mine or my ex-girlfriend. It's not that. It's just, it's not that I don't care about them in the cold-hearted sense where I'm insensitive and callous and just care about myself 
don't care about them. That's not the case at all. It's just my priorities are elsewhere. And yeah, they are at the back of my mind. But there was a time when I used to think about them daily. I go for weeks, months without even thinking about them anymore. And it's because my, my mind and my priorities are elsewhere. They're not on them. People that have let me down, they're human. I don't hold it against them. I pray for them. I bless them. I love them in Christ. But if someone's got no interest in someone, someone doesn't want to know you for whatever reason, someone's judged you like they may have judged me and think, oh, no, 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 this is too much. Can't, can't be doing with this guy. Always oh, too boring or whatever. That's life. People make mistakes. I've made mistakes. I'm sure that I've done things that I shouldn't have done. They've done things they shouldn't have done. People take the easy way out. And you best believe... People do what suits them. People do what's convenient for them, not what's convenient for you. And sometimes even when they know you're lonely, it's still not enough for them to get in contact with you and to make them or to hope that they're going to do the things that you would like them to do. And we can't put our problems at anyone else's doorstep either. We're all solely responsible for our own happiness and our own peace of mind. And um, we can't throw out, and we can't, uh, put our problems at anyone else's feet and expect them to pick up the pieces and help us feel better as people It doesn't work out like that and I'm gonna have to end the video soon because my nose is running a little bit I've got hay fever <laughs> I've kept the video as stable as I can by not Jigging my head around too much. I mean if I literally put my head down right now all snot would come out of my nose Not that you needed to hear that but yeah <laughs> uh, There's an art to it um so I hope and pray that you've learned something from this video. We need to learn detachment in Christ. And it's not the world's version of detachment. It's Christ's version of detachment. Where we're focused on what really matters in life. Forgiving those who have let us down. Even if it's just in relatively small ways. Uh, people don't always behave the way we would like them to. That's just life. And to not hold grudges, not, not, not to hold on to grudges or to be embittered or to hold anything against anybody. But to live and let live, that's it. If they get in contact with you, people that used to know you and they abandon you for whatever reason, or blocked you on Facebook or Facebook Messenger or whatever the, the case may be with you. I know that with my ex-girlfriend, for example, I tried to remain friends with her. And, I, you know, I never told her that I was perfect. She knows I'm not perfect. I've got my hang-ups like everyone else does. But she ended up blocking me on Facebook Messenger. I don't hold it against her. Well, I did at the time. I was pretty miffed by it. I was pretty annoyed. But not anymore. That's life. Life goes on. People sometimes find it easier to just wash their hands of you and have nothing to do with you. And yet, that's someone else who knew that I've had a lifelong lack of friends and, and uh, struggled with loneliness and depression throughout my life. Which I still am struggling with loneliness. But what God has done with my loneliness is that he hasn't took it away from me or my depression, but he has um, made it so I'm stronger as a person, so I'm better able to handle it in Christ. And he's lessened it, so I don't feel it as much as I used to. But it's a, it's a long slog. Some days are better than others. I go up and down. That's life. Okay, so I hope and pray that you're all well. Um, so let's all pray for detachment in Christ, because becoming obsessed about people that have let us down and we shouldn't give too much thought to people who are having nothing to do with us. I've often thought things about people like, oh, I wonder if she, my old pen friend, my last two to three pen friends, uh, were going on my Facebook or my YouTube channel. But so what if they are? So what if they did? So what if they're not? It doesn't make any difference to me. My life is what it is, whether my pen friends are taking an interest in me on my Facebook and my YouTube channel or not. My life is what it is. OK, three of those pen friends, by the way, had the means to do so, to check me out on Facebook and they knew I was on Facebook and they could very easily go from my Facebook to my YouTube channel. Uh, but so what? I mean, who cares? Chances are they're just getting on with their lives and they don't care about me at all. That doesn't bother me because I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God and he loves me. That's the attitude we need to have. We need to learn detachment in Christ like the way I have. And it's a hard lesson. I'm 36 now, don't forget. I've had years and years and years of hard life experience to get me to this stage where I'm at now. I never used to be like this. I used to get worked up, et up about these things, wishing that that person would care about me, wishing my ex-girlfriend would unblock me on Facebook Messenger and get in contact with me and be that friend and sister in Christ and pray for me. 
and all the rest of it, but, but that's life. Anyway, I better end it here. Bye-bye and take care.